So I talk about glass cliff, a very corporate concept where women are called upon in boardrooms um, when there is a crisis situation, which where you know it's almost like impossible to crack it. Where they say that think crisis, think woman. So in 2014, when you just had 20 days left to prepare, how did you see this when your party called upon you to take you know take on Rahul Gandhi? Was that in 2014? Was that like an opportunity uh, for you, or so not? Was many it? people possibly reflect on the fact that by 2014 I was a two-time Rajya Sabha MP. It's as though my political entity was discovered only in 2014 when I fought a meeting. And I think that that in itself speaks volumes about when do we recognize the female competency vis-a-vis -vis leadership. Only when we put her on a pedestal and put her under a spotlight. Or do we have a system which is inherently ordained with the attributes of recognizing leadership capacities when they are raw. So, like I said, by the time I went into a meeting to fight the Lok Sabha election, I had already won two Rajya Sabha uh, nominations. One which was smooth sailing, my first ever. For the second one, you remember the uh, uh, very famous midnight victory yeah. and Emal Patel ji from the Congress was fighting. So it's not as if it's been smooth sailing even in the Rajya Sabha. I had two terms when I was a member of the opposition. So, uh, apart from that, I had an 18 year experience in organizational politics at the grassroots. So what you saw in 2014, in just 20 days, was an impact of the culmination of that experience. So I know that the power of social media is such that if you look at Twitter today, it seems that I was a nobody before 2014. But anybody who has an interest in general knowledge will possibly know that in the media business, I have had a successful run for two decades. So I also think that uh, how we celebrate female potential in leadership depends on what lens we look at that particular female leader from. I don't come from a political pedigree, which is very celebrated. I come from a very, very middle class, lower middle class family. Hence, I do not have a glamorous set of genetics politically that I can flaunt the leather. So I also feel that when you look at female leadership potential and how it is celebrated, how many women in your book are bereft of political pedigree? 